the vision here at Vancouver College is for every boy here to leave what? Leave a? Leave a better man. Leave a better man. I remember that was the vision when I was here. I'm not sure how many years it's been the vision, but the vision for every one of you boys is to leave here a better man. But in our culture today, we have to ask the question, as Matt Walsh likes to ask, well, the question is probably, what is a man? What is a man? If you don't know what a man is, how, is, how can you actually know what it means to leave as a better man? And I want to challenge you boys to leave here as a better man by first of all looking at what actually is a man. And I like to use props to, for homilies, so we're going to look at two answers that the culture is constantly giving you boys, two answers that the culture is constantly offering you about what it means to be a man. This is a pedestal. This is the first answer the culture gives you boys about what it means to be a man. What is a man? A man is someone to idolize. A man is someone to idolize. Cultural icons like James Bond, 007, capable of killing any man, sleeping with any girl. This is what the culture often presents as a symbol of masculinity. What does it mean to be a man? A man is someone to idolize. Now, I don't know if there's any boys here who are cold-blooded killers like James Bond or any of those things, but every boy here and every father here knows that there is a temptation in each one of us to try to get on the pedestal, to try to be idolized. Because in the heart of every boy here, in the heart of every single one of you guys, is a question, do I have what it takes? Am I a man? That question is constantly in the heart of every boy here. Do I have what it takes? And you are tempted to try to get on the pedestal. To try to use other people in self-centered pursuits to be whatever, rich, famous, you fill in the blank, to get on the pedestal. To prove to other people that I have what it takes. And so often it's using masculinity, strength, things like that, to try to prove to other people that you have what it takes. And that's a constant temptation. For myself, when I was in your shoes, in grade 12, I had already got a Division I scholarship to a school in the States to play college golf. And that was my way to try to prove to other people that I have what it takes. Life was all about me, myself, and I. It was a self-centered pursuit of trying to prove to the world that I have what it takes. That is a constant temptation of the culture. The masculinity is something to idolize. But as we know with James Bond, what does it lead to? It doesn't lead to men, it leads to immature boys. And Jesus says, you will know them by their fruits. And time and time again, when you look at a lot of the idols in today's culture of men, eventually the bad fruit comes out. Eventually the bad fruit comes out. And that's the result of pursuing this approach of the pedestal. Another option. So first one, a man is someone to idolize. This is a doormat from HomeSense that my mother got me. <laughs> this is your second answer that the culture gives you. A man is not someone to idolize, a man is someone to despise. There's a truth that everything that you idolize in life you eventually despise. Remember that, everything in life you idolize, you eventually despise. Well, our culture keeps promoting this idea of toxic masculinity. 
and all of the strength and things that men have are something not to use for good pursuits, but they're something bad. So getting rid of everything that makes men truly masculine. And so our culture presents another answer of what is a man? A man is someone to despise. Get rid of, get rid of everything that makes a man strong and courageous and self-sacrificial. Because you see a lot of the bad fruit in today's culture. A man is someone to despise, the doormat approach. Get rid, stomp on everything masculine, and just give way to a feminine life. It's often what our culture presents to men today. You can't use your strength. I think Homer Simpson is a pretty good example, just to give you a clear visual of someone whose life is avoiding responsibility, avoiding leadership, avoiding sacrifice. And look at the fruit that that life bears. So these answers are the culture's constant presenting to us, these things. On one extreme, a man is someone to idolize, Another extreme of man is someone to despise. And what it does is it tears men apart. You're not sure how you become a man. You're not sure what to do with your masculinity. But obviously I'm not here as a cultural analyst. I'm here as a Catholic priest. So I believe that we have an answer today for what it means to be a man. This is what it means to be a man. An image you've seen thousands of times. But I want to invite you to actually look at Jesus Christ crucified as the model of masculinity. What does it mean to be a man? A man is not someone to idolize. A man is not someone to despise. A man is someone who gives life. A man is someone who gives life. That's what it means to be a man. And the measure of your masculinity is the measure of how much life you can give to other people. A man is someone who gives life. And Jesus is the model of masculinity. Jesus Christ crucified, dying for you. That's what it looks like to be a man. Pierced hands on the cross. Dying for you by name, so that you may have life. That's what it looks like to be a man. And if you don't know Jesus as the model of masculinity, you don't know Jesus. If you don't know Jesus as someone who is fierce and courageous and self-sacrificial and bold and brave, you don't know Jesus. This is the model of masculinity. And when I was in your shoes, I had no idea of who Jesus really was. I planned just to become really into my faith when I was old. Get that fire insurance before I die. That was my path. That was my plan. But this man, Jesus Christ crucified, broke into my life. I planned to just live that self-centered pursuit of being rich and famous through golf. That's what was on my mind when I was in your shoes. But Jesus Christ broke into my life, and he showed me a new way to live. He showed me what masculinity is really like. And this is hard, this is difficult. I fail every single day to live up to this standard. Jesus Christ crucified. Hands wide open, pierced, giving life to people that rejected him. Not for people that loved him, for people that rejected him. That's what masculinity looks like. So if you wanna leave here as a better man, you gotta have Jesus in your life. There is no other way. He is the only model of masculinity. And he is the only person that can provide abundant life.
to every single person on the face of this planet. He did it 2,000 years ago, and he can do it today. This is what it means to be a man. If you want to leave here a better man, you better leave with Jesus. He's your only hope. He's your only model. Everything else is false.